guys, Katrina here, the Zapper Wheelie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the really bad uh, lighting in here today, but uh, this morning I had a leak in my bedroom and water was dropping out of the, the light fixture in the ceiling. And uh, they came out to fix the 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 leak but the landlord has refused to fix the light saying that all I need to do is change the bulb although it's full of water I'm I'm not even gonna do that. It's real you don't even need to be a qualified electrician to realise that that's a pretty dangerous thing to do. You know, especially when the light fixture is full of water. Uh but today, uh, today's video is about uh, why uh, people with EDS often uh, refer to ourselves or identify as zebras. And it will also help explain my channel name as well. Uh, basically, uh, zebra as the term used in the medical profession to describe a rare condition. Uh, when doctors are training, they are taught a, a phrase that goes like this. When you hear the sound of hooves, think horses, not zebras. Meaning, uh, expect the more common conditions, not the rare ones, like EDS. Although certain types of EDS, like mine, is not considered rare anymore. But this can lead to uh, people, or the medical profession, sorry, ignoring the rare conditions altogether, which is, is wrong. And I was watching uh, a girl called Tonya on Facebook. Uh... Earlier, I will put a link to her her post in my description. Uh, who has been treated really particularly bad, badly, badly more badly than than I have uh, by the medical profession. Uh, her her story is horrendous. Uh, I myself had to fight to get diagnosed, and my they think that my dad is the is the the link and the genetic link in my in my family, and he's having trouble getting even a referral to get diagnosed for it. Uh, we basically have to, uh, I think. We we basically have to put up with a lot of uh, abuse from doctors and um, from other medical staff who aren't uh, who aren't in the know about ADS. They're given very little training. Uh, but uh, it, it, it seems to be the more senior staff that are, are, are causing all the problems. There are a few good doctors like like my my doctor that I have now, and my, my GP that I have now, and my uh, orthopedic specialist and my, my uh, genetic specialist. He is very good. Uh, but you do get the... You do get them to tell you it's all in your head and that, and it's not. Keep fighting. We often refer to each other as the Zebra Warriors because we're so used to fighting uh, for our our basic rights to an entitlement to health care. Uh, I'm reading here from the EDS UK website, which I will put a link in in the description as well. Uh, uh, 
it says here that um, many medical professionals seem to forget that zebras, meaning us, do exist. And so getting a diagnosis and treatment can be more more difficult for sufferers of rare conditions. Don't I know that? I've had physios and nurses. I've tried to abuse me over my EDS. Uh, I will give up the fight. Neither should you. Even though it might seem really hard at sometimes, uh, but anyway, hopefully I will get this light sorted out. I might have to go and visit my MP again to get him to chase up the landlord like he did the last time, because I don't want—I don't fancy ending up in A and E. I've got enough to worry about without that. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.